Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Norm MacDonald, pig with a wooden leg. Let's see what he has to say. You're native Canada. Yeah, I love Canada. You mention it a lot. Yeah, people love people, a couple of people. <laughs> Three to be exact. Yeah, like Three. That's important. Uh, where are you from? Are you from a big city? Uh, where are you no, from? I'm from a little town. It's called Monkland, and uh, it's only 108 people. Monkland. 108. That's in. That's, yeah, that's small. Yeah, it's country. You know, it's really mm -hmm. rural. Mm -hmm. And uh, but man, I'll tell you, there's lots of funny stories from there. <laughs> I so bet. Time. Thank you very much for coming, Norm. It was good having you here. It was Norm McDonald. Good night, everybody. It's farm really, people, you there know? are funny stories from this town. Yeah, because farm people, they all seem to be, you know, they all seem to be a funny story. I remember one time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right. Um, this is an older clip from Conan, so they're both significantly younger. Norm is a very attractive guy, and still, in this uh, season of his life, he still feels like a very, like, educated, well-put-together funny man um i love the suit um it's so funny because i don't know if it's because i grew up predominantly in the south and in new york I, I i i probably have run into more canadians in new york unknowingly but i like did not actually meet and know and talk to someone canadian until i was like in my 30s it was like one of my former um superiors at work was from canada um my husband said five years in Canada playing basketball. So he loves Canada. But I thought that was funny that like only three people were like, well, three people were like, woo, because like, I feel that way. I'm like, where are all the Canadians at? Where they at? Where, where do y'all, where are y'all at? Hey, y'all. <laughs> if you're from Canada, leave a comment right now. Um, all right, let's see what kind of convoluted joke he's about to there tell better us. better be, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> he's got there a great a guy, smile. Man, he lived down the road. Great no. smile. His name was, uh, name was John Neil Mergerison. And this guy, I went to, to him once. I've been away for a couple of years, you know. I moved to the city, you know, and I, I came back. And I said, John Neal, how you doing? You know, I went to his, his what do you got, farm? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that and, thing, uh, yeah. So he yeah. showed me his pigs. He had a bunch of pigs there, you know. He had a bunch of pigs, a, a bunch of them. And one of the pigs <laughs> had, one of the pigs had a wooden leg, you know. What? Oh, yeah, a wooden leg. So I thought that was How odd, is that you know? even so I said possible? Him, I says, John Neal, that's odd. There, what's that pig? What's the story with that? No, how is that even possible? How can a pig have a like? What do you like? Strap the the. Lord have mercy, this is going down south already. Um, I think my favorite thing about him is the way that his joke telling feels really conversational. It feels very authentic. Like he's really just telling us a story and not a bit like he kind of fumbles over his words. He, he like stammers a bit. And I don't know if that is added into his bit or if that's just naturally how he speaks, but I enjoy it because I really forget that we're watching and listening to a comedian. And, um, you know, he's not just like some random guy interviewing, telling us funny stories. Like, no, there is, there, there is like, intention behind this so i i appreciate that he allows me to forget that i think that is probably why he is one of the greats because there's some type of escape when you're watching him you're not really like sitting there waiting for the punchline so much you're sitting there waiting for like the story <laughs> if that i hope that makes sense it makes sense to me thanks so i thought that was odd you know so i says to him i says john neil that's odd there what's that pig what's the story with that pig so with john neil he goes oh man norm he says that's a special pig. He goes, you wouldn't believe that pig. I go, yeah, well, why, well, tell me about it. He goes, that pig, you wouldn't believe it. He says, last, last winter, you know, he goes, um, the house burned down. You know, you probably heard, the house burned down. And uh, he says, me and a wife, we were sleeping on our bed. And he says, we never would have heard. We never would have heard. We never would have woken up. But he goes, that pig, he broke out of his pen. He ran all the way to the house. And he went up to the bedroom window, you know. And he says, he starts hitting his little snout. On a, on, a, on a window, you know? Uh -huh. And he says, me and a wife, we woke up and we got out. I'm stressed out. <laughs> like, get to it, Norm. This is what I'm saying. Like, you really feel like you're just like, okay. Like, you know, like, get, Norm, tell us what happened. <laughs> on a, on is a the window, pig a dog? You know? And he says, like, me and a what? wife, we woke up and we got out, man, just in time. We escaped that inferno. He didn't use the word inferno. He's just a farmer. <laughs> But you threw that in there. Yeah, he says, Good. we escaped that conflation. <laughs> he didn't use you know? that word. <laughs> so so I, I go, man, that's, quite a, that's a, quite a story about the pig. He goes, oh, man, it doesn't stop there. I go, really? And he goes, yeah, how yeah. do you get the wooden and leg? He goes, he goes, 
just later after that, like the following summer, we were me and my wife were plowing a North 40, and and, and our little boy, only two years old, man, North fell 40? into the well, mm -hmm. and uh, all alone, you know, and, oh. and we did we no way we could do anything. We were plowing, and uh, <laughs> what? He says we didn't hear. What? First he said North 40. I'm gonna assume that means like the North 40 acres of their land. What is happening right now? Hold fell on. Fell into the well. And uh, all alone, you know, and, and we did we no way we could do anything. We were plowing. And uh, there was no way we could do it. We were plowing. He says, we didn't hear, you know, <gasps> and he says, uh, uh, man, and, and, you know, and, and, you know, we're getting older. We're probably not going to have another kid. You know, that kid means everything to us. I go, I know, John Neal, I know that. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. Uh -huh. So he said, I said, what happens? He goes, that's their very same pig. He says he heard the child's wailing plaintiff cry. He didn't say plaintiff, you know, he's a farmer. <laughs> but he says he heard, he heard the child, cry. he broke out of his pen, he ran all oh the way to the well. Oh my God. He looked down, there was the poor son, son of ours there, uh, Billy, you know, down at the bottom of the well. <laughs> he says the pig, he took his snout there, he started pulling up on a, on a rope. Please. And he got the kid down right out, you know. Please, please. <laughs> The things this man comes up with is wild. It's beyond me. I love that he one keeps saying like he's a farmer. He didn't really say that. I'm paraphrasing in in more in bigger words. Uh, and then two, he's like the farmer is trying to convince us that he did not do anything to the child. He loved this is his only child. He loves him. He adores him. How did he get down there? They don't know. They were plowing. They couldn't have done it. They were plowing. But a pig could have heard and run all the way up to the or wherever the I was about to say the North Forty, but wherever this well was and pulled the child up. And we've yet to find out how this pig acquired this wooden leg, mind you. Took his snout there, he started pulling up on a, on a rope, and he got, the kid got right out, you know? And he, he <laughs> and if it, man, that's great, isn't it? And I go, <laughs> I go, man, that's the greatest story I ever heard. Man, oh, what a is pig. It? I said, what a pig that is. I said, one question though, John Neal. I said, he got a wooden leg. I don't understand that part. He got, Pig, pig got a wooden leg over there. John Neal goes, man, he goes, what are you crazy? He says, he says, a great pig like that, you can't eat them all at once. You know, he says. Mr. Abraham Lincoln, everybody. That is terrible. That's terrible. I can never forgive you. That's awful. All right, well, uh, let's talk about this. Mention this. Starting out live this week with Phil Hartman. Yeah, that's good. Awesome's on that show. That's yeah. a great show. I don't know who they are, but Phil Hartman's great. <laughs> Norm McDonald, everybody. Richard E. Grant, Goldust are coming up. We'll be right back. Oh, that man is a hoot. Isn't he? He's a hoot. I don't know who they are. So was he um, a castmate on SNL or did he do like writing or something? I don't know. Let me know. Um, I can tell you this. I did not see that ending that way. That basically they're eating the pig one body part at a time. So they amputated his leg and had some, uh, I don't know what kind of meat comes from a pig leg. What, what kind of meat is that? I don't know, but poor pig. All right, I'm I'm in distress. <laughs> he is just like a babbling funny man, and I love it. Like I genuinely I do because it keeps me on the edge of my seat. I like want more all the time. So let me know what I need to watch of him next, and go and have the day you deserve. Peace.